This is the starter clutch. So the purpose of the starter clutch is to start the engine by taking the drive from the starter, which goes through this counter shaft onto the starter clutch. And once the engine has started, not keep driving the starter uh, while the engine is running. So this is the mechanism responsible for not driving the starter once the engine has started. So we took this plate out. But let's imagine that this plate is still on and that this entire unit is connected to the crankshaft via the splines. So when the, uh, when the starter drives this gear through the counter shaft, this entire unit turns. This entire unit turns and through these splines, it's gonna run the engine. Once the engine has started, Okay, once the engine has started, this unit is going to get drive from the engine. So what's going to happen is, this thing is going to start spinning, right? So the reason that the unit is able to do that is because of these slots over here. If you see, they are wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. When these are spring-loaded uh, spring uh, rollers, okay? So when these low rollers are pressed towards the top end, the mechanism is able to slip and move freely. But when they are rolled towards the bottom end, they, they roll as one unit. So you can see them move, right? See? So when this unit is moving faster than the starter is spinning the engine, which is when the engine has started, these rollers move into the uh, the wider space in the in the slot, and that allows the uh, mechanism to slip. So that is how the starter clutch works.